All right, all right. How's it going? Hello, you guys. This is pretty cool. I'm on the uh, the Saved Over Success Network. Guess what? It's Kenyo Poetry Live. We're back, people. It's been a little bit of time, but we are officially back out here. Um, so this episode is called um, Beginning of Wealth, and I want to talk about that. Uh, I want to talk about wealth, and I'm going to do that by um, sharing some different things with you that 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 um, I'm going on about. And um, this year, I think it's going to be really interesting, okay? Um, because I think a lot of people are um, in situations where they've been building, they've been doing different things their entire um, career, their entire lives. Um, but it's time for them to switch a little bit. You have a great foundation, but how do you move into um, understanding your wealth? And as I'm figuring that out, I've learned some things, so I want to share that with you. If you don't know who I am, I'm Kenya the Poet. Um, Kenya Poetry Live originally started um, in San Antonio in a place called uh, One, Job, One Drop. It was a juice spot. It was a live show. Um, since then, we've recorded several episodes. I'm going to be playing clips of those episodes while, because um, I like to do some throwback stuff because I think it's fun, and uh, I have so much good content. Why not do that with you? Um, shout out to everyone in the live streams. We're going to take these two minutes right now at the top of the show, the beginning of the show. What I want you to do is focus on sharing. So I'm going to dive in right now. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing in in my sharing stuff. Okay, so I want you guys to dive into sharing too. Let's all dive into sharing this thing. So let's see. First, we'll go to the Saved Over Success page here on Facebook. Saved Over Success Network. Um, and I'm super proud of Jania Moore for starting this. Uh, this is the beginning of this kind of thinking that I'm trying to talk about. When I think about wealth, when I think about um, being able to create wealth and do that in the community, this is the kind of thinking that you have to have. So many people get locked in. Let me show you guys what I'm doing in my little share thing before I go on a full rant. Um, let me let me jump this into you. I'm going to drop this into you. You ready for some action? Boom. Now you can see what I'm doing. So, so many people get locked in this thing where they feel like they can't do for themselves. They can't be for themselves. And um, I want to encourage people that, that uh, yo, yo, you have to start thinking in different ways. Let me make sure this audio is some working. action. It's working. Um, so, I'm going to share this um, on my page. Check it out. I want you to do the exact same thing. Share this with your friends. Do it the way that I'm doing it. Um, people think that they can't start their own networks. People think that they can't start their own TV shows. People think um, that they have to work a whole bunch in order just to just to get a little bit. Um, the, they think that the only thing valuable is their time. If they don't show up in a place, um, they can't make more than five dollars. I mean, whatever, thirteen dollars an hour, fifteen dollars an hour. And uh, that's just not the case at all. So I'm sharing this on my page right now. I'm going to put, hey, guys, we're just going to take two minutes to do some shares. Share with me right now. Hey, guys, watch me on the saved. I like to tag. Some people don't know this, how good tagging is. Watch me on the Saved Over Success Network. Um, this is uh, Kenyo Poetry Live. So, um, and we're talking about wealth. We're talking about wealth. Okay, so I just saved the, saved this on my page. And when you guys tag me, always do this at Kenyo. I don't want you to tag my Facebook page. You tag my Facebook. Uh, don't tag my Facebook profile. Always tag my Facebook page. If you tag me, if you tag Saved Over Success, it's the same thing. Don't just use a hashtag. Tag the Saved Over Success page so people can go straight there. That's how we start thinking about ourselves professionally. So we have these tools, Facebook. If you learn about me, I am a poet, above all, before anything. But I also have a huge love um, for social media and for internet and entrepreneurship because really, what entrepreneurship is, it's it's us taking control over our, our identity again. Um, so, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and share this. Boom. Share it in here. Now I'm going to do some simpler shares. 
and then we're gonna then share the the first two minutes of the show. Share time is over. Uh, we'll jump into um, the first poem. I know there's a couple comments. I see that there's eight comments already. I haven't um, taken taken a chance to look at those yet. So I already shared it there because I'm also the um, the CEO of Project Four. I'm gonna share it on there. Um, boom. I'm going to take the time. You guys should be sharing along with me. I've already done two shares. How many shares are you at? This is how we make this video pop. I'm also going to share it on Go Live, uh, my podcast page. Boom. Shared it on there. That way, for all my people who like to watch my podcast page, they can check that out. Share it on Project Forward. All right. I'm going to share it on Idea Parties. Idea Parties is my production company's page. We produce events and we produce media. Boom. Shared it on there so people can check it out over there. Uh, and then I'm gonna share it one more place. It's a little, it's a little cool group of people that I hang out with in San Antonio. I have a group for them. It's not just San Antonio people, but it's mostly about 200 artists and entrepreneurs in San Antonio called Fiercely Supporting. I'm gonna share it as Kenyo. Hey guys, um, started a new show. Watch me on the at Saved Over Success Network. Saved Over Success Network. Boom. So share this on your pages and your timelines. Boom, boom, boom. Of course, you don't really have to. I'm happy that you're watching it all. Um, so let's let's dive into some poetry. Let's do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off the screen for a second because I want to read to you guys um, a poem that is something that I'm um, really, really, really thinking about when I think about wealth. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna pay, play. Uh, another poem from you from someone else's Facebook page. So it's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to enjoy that. Um, but first I'm going to read this poem for you guys. This poem is called, um, okay, boom, let's transition. Let's get this Facebook thing off the screen. This poem is called, um, I'm going back. And, um, what it's about is, uh, it's about understanding my own reasons for doing things. So I think that a lot of times people will get into this situation where we don't understand why we're working so hard for. We don't, we don't understand some of um, the things that have been placed in our lives for our success even before we were there. And we think that everything was all about us and everything's all about our ability to just, you know, we started from scratch, our parents didn't do it for us, we're just these black people in the middle of nowhere, and we have, we just have to grind it ourselves. And I think that while that can be true as a reality in some ways, when you start to really think about where your wealth is from, I guarantee you only about 10% of your wealth maximum and these are just numbers they're not super accurate i just want to get you to see how small this is only a small portion of your wealth your wealth is going to be created in your lifetime a lot of it has been created over years and years and you might think no i don't have a grandfather who passed me uh 10 million i don't have uh you know whatever like i didn't get that i don't have this generational wealth lies Everybody has generational wealth. <laughs> I'm sorry I came so hard at you. I just don't like that idea. It's not true. Everybody has things. There's things that your parents did that they built up. There's things that your grandparents did, mentality, where they moved, how they lived. Um, there's things about your identity, which are your, your, your skin color, your, your style, your aesthetic, your state of mind. There's things about you that are your value that you don't have to work to create. And when you start aligning yourself with your history, with your past, with your legacy, um, with your legacy, I like that because we have in our community uh, a prolific rapper and a prolific idea creator, Legacy City. I think of myself as I transition ideas into properties, okay? Right? And then properties, I, I figure out how they fit into the universe. What does that mean? So what I like to do is every person out there doesn't know that they have, not only do they have a persona, but they have the ability to create a personal brand. And creating a personal brand is not an audacious thing. It is your right, okay? Because the way the legal strategy works around media and uh, IP and everything like that, 
Everybody else out here has a brand. Facebook is making money off of your eyeballs. You're paying into that. So if you're not creating your brand, you have no stake in what's going on. No Facebook page, no stake. You're just there as a consumer. You're watching TV all the time instead of getting your benefits. But I think there's even greater things besides the properties that we create when we can find a way to align ourselves. And I've been doing that in different ways. You know, I'm a Nigerian guy. And um, so I, I've been... Um, I've been finding different ways to reconnect to the Nigerian community. So I'm going to play this um, poem. And then after that, you know, before I play this poem, I'm going to play a little clip. Um, this is going to be an interview. Let's see how fast I can get this set up. This is going to be um, an interview that I did. Um, an interview that I did with a uh, Nigerian comedian who came out to... Um, he came out to do a, a comedy show um, here in San Antonio. Uh, his name is MCPC. Um, and, you know, I realized that, you know, for the past one year or so, I haven't been doing as much um, with, the, with the Nigerian community, and I want to do more of that stuff. You know what? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. So first I'm going to read this poem. Hope you enjoy it. You guys want some music behind the poem? I'll give you a little bit of stuff, okay? I'm gonna give you a little bit of, a little bit of music. I wanna. Okay. All right. I'm on the way back to the past, where I'd sit at my chipped wooden desk. Shuffling blank paper so I could feel busy. I always knew I'd be a businessman. I've been starting businesses since then, even when it hurt my heart that I couldn't convince them of what was coming. Now it's time to go all the way. First stop, Berkeley, California, where I was born. Shout out to my Nigerian parents for getting me to America, but I'm going back to Nigeria to figure out how many generations of Latitan it took for me to fulfill the prophecy. I'm going back to the Garden of Eden to tell Eve what I couldn't find the right way to show her then so we don't have to wait a millennia, become blind and kill Jesus to see what's always been within, what's always been written right on her face that this universe is beautiful, but only half as beautiful as she is, and we're halfway to heaven already. I'm going back to my roots, the things that made me who I am, the colors that made me colorblind, the dreams that only I dream, the fears that built my armor for me, the worries that made me want to save you from worrying, the warmth that made me look for my mother, the fire that made me want to discover love, the patience that made me read, the pain that made me look for beautiful art, the insecurity that made me hungry, enough to understand your point of view, the confidence that encouraged me to run away from home, the anger that carved my first poems out of physics and leftover philosophy, the rage that swelled till it swirled to a point that it made me attack canvases, the tears that made me see homeless people, the loneliness that let me know that something wasn't right, the grace that let me live past my weaknesses, the mercy that let me tell every story like I was the one who won when really I'm just the one who watched it all happen. I'm going back to my front row seat in the middle of me, back to the basics of my identity because before I can go any further, I need to remember why I wanted to swim in the upper atmosphere in the first place. Why I ever felt like time and space were my pillows and blankets. And what made me believe that whatever was out there for me is a one-of-a-kind thing. Castles built with clues left for me and the stars my ancestors named. I used to believe I was psychic and I was probably right. I used to think I could levitate, and I probably still can, or at least I shouldn't stop trying. I just have to remember what it was like to be ten years old, handcrafted from possibilities and angel leather, so sure that all my flaws were just temporary, so sure that my feathers were coming soon and that God had been sending me letters, but they just hadn't come yet. By the way, if you want to hear from God, this is just a thing. He doesn't play games with people. That's not why he's here. 
because even though I'm grateful for all the travels, it feels like I've gone too far from home. I'm tired and can't find the right hours to sleep anymore, but I'm almost there. I had to lose myself so I could find it again, because this time it's better. This time it's here, and we're ready to start building a new beginning. <laughs> so come back with me to the place where it all started. that poem um and that custom beat straight from me um what i want to do right now is actually play for you um and you know what was so interesting in that poem before i get into what i want to do next um one thing that was oh the music was too loud my bad but it's too late because it's already over i can't see the comments while i'm doing certain things so um i apologize if the music was too loud um, it was playing directly from the speakers. Next time, I will do that from the beginning. Um, thank you so much uh, for being in the comments. Nikita, it's so funny because I'm actually going to play one of your poems next. It's so funny. And then um, uh, Miss Smith from from uh, um, Forever Yours Productions, I'm actually going to play it from your page right now. And then Jania Moore, um, the creator of this network. Thank you guys for jumping in the comments and and be my proto supporters on this first episode one. This is just the this is the just the first episode. Uh, by the time people know what's going on here, every Wednesday at 11 a.m. they're gonna be out here. Um, so, but uh, thank you, thank you guys. Super cool. Um, so I'm gonna drop this. Um, I want what I want to do right now is actually drop my video back in here for you guys. Uh, the way I do it, super cool. Drop my little window capture here in for you guys so you can see um, what I'm doing again. Um, but first, let me make sure uh, everything is coolio and set up in a coolio way. So I'm going to be going over to Forever Yours Productions page so you guys can. I want you guys to check this this poem out because it goes back to what I was saying though you heard what I said in the very end of that poem we're starting a new beginning um, and the foundation of that is our ability to go back inside of ourselves your ability to connect to who you are and this is something I've been on for a long time and and in different seasons I get these different um, sort of sort of messages and directions and and project forward for me is, is completely a thing where I'm just kind of following um, I think uh, I'm using the gifts that some of the gifts that God gave me. You know, it's some. It's so interesting when we say the gifts that God gave me. When a lot of those things, very often, they start with the gifts that you give. So there's certain things that, for whatever reason, you know, because we're humble enough, because we love it enough, there's certain things that we get into at certain young ages, and we we find ourselves so willing to um, to share those things. And I think that in a lot of ways, um, what makes it possible for God to even give us things is because we first learned how to give those things ourselves. And so Project Forward is really built up off of a number of skills that, um, that I feel like are gifts to me, gifts of myself, um, one and the same. Um, and I use those to, um, to, to, to build. Um, but anyway, in a lot of ways, I really feel like the end of that poem where it talks about going back and connecting to yourself, that's 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 uh, a message that is a huge part of my second half of the year. And what we're focusing on as we build, and even as I plan to do different things, I'm doing an event in L.A. that I hope I get to see you guys some of the stuff at. Please follow me, at Kenyo HQ. I don't even have, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have my, while I play this video for you, I'm going to go ahead and throw up my thing so you can follow me um, on on stuff. So bear with me while I throw some throw some text out here. I'm just going to do a brand new text thing and then you can follow you can find me at Kenyo HQ on all social media including um, Instagram, Twitter, anything like that. Um, so definitely do that. I'd love to hear from you. Um, so don't be a stranger. 
that's going to pop up right now, transition, and then I want you guys to watch this video. What's up, y'all? This is... What's up, y'all? This is Kenyo, MCP Sales, first show in San Antonio. It's pretty cool. How do you feel? I mean, I feel good. First time doing a show here in San Antonio. Yeah. So, the, the market is right. Yeah. With it back. Honestly, if you like San Antonio, Yeah, so I did it for the first time, so I know when I come back next time, it's gonna be big. Yeah, you better watch yeah. the talent opportunity next yeah. to Jason, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was super awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That you should be shy or you shouldn't know what your talents are. If I didn't think I was a good host, I would stop hosting events. But anyway, um, you, I am also going to do an event in LA pretty soon, so that's going to be a lot of fun for you guys. Um, but yes, let me go ahead and play this play this video from Miss Nikita. I hope you guys um, vibe with this, connect with it. I love what she's doing. It's super powerful. Um, I appreciate Forever Yours for coming out and, and recording, recording this. Um, um uh live um and i hope to see you guys at an event that i record soon but um, we're gonna do this and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna wish you guys well um but enjoy this enjoy this i am her the her that is the mother the her that saves all mankind when the trials and tribulations of life occur I am her, carrying my babies in my arms, shielding them with fire with the ringing of the alarm. I am her that walked with no fear during the Katrina storm to save my babies from drowning in the midst of the storm. I am her that walked in the fields of white cotton, the her that sang hymnals for the souls of the forgotten. I am her that chose to escape the hallowed cost, fleeing to the forest of eastern Poland, fighting for the memory of the other Jewish women lost. I am her that gave birth at the age of 16, the her that they said wouldn't amount to anything, the her that walked the stage holding me. The her that moved on to earn a Texas Southern degree. The her that didn't eat so that my brother and I could. The her that was raped and left in a trash bag of a nearby neighborhood. My mother, who chose to pray away pain to recover. My beautiful black hero that embraces me when I feel hurt and lonely. I am her that lives in a house of no defeat. The her that isn't afraid to speak. The her that will encourage when she doesn't have courage to keep on fighting with her feminine power. The her that prays silently. In the last hour, I am her, the cancer survivor, the her that they said would die in the night, the her that walked on when the doctors doubted she might. I am her, Joan of Arc going out onto the battlefield with only the faith of Jesus on her chest, the shield. I am her. The female Indian chief walking in the snow, hunting a buffalo with her bow and arrow, because I am her. Thank you. Whoa! That is such a good one. Oh, did I like ruin this whole thing? I might never cash in. Okay, but you guys got to hear it nonetheless, right? Oh man! But if you want to go watch it, go over to um, go over to Forever Yours um, and uh, Forever Yours Productions and watch that. Um, 
such a good video. Anyway, guys, uh, that, that's that's my time. Thirty minutes there. Um, sorry for. Uh, I think I made it a little weird for you guys to watch there because I switched it over, so you were actually watching. Um, probably like nothing for like a, a chunk of that. Um, but let's let's get that out of the way so that I can see you guys while before I leave here. Let's get this window capture out the way. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys for tuning into this uh, episode of um, Kenyo Poetry Live. Once again, you can follow me on all social media at Kenyo HQ. Uh, and then you can watch this show on the Saved Over Success Network. Um, and really, I wanna, I'm going to, next week, I'm going to talk about the same thing, um, which is the beginning of wealth. Because really, I think the beginning of wealth starts where you start connecting back with yourself. You learn the things that you need in order to feel comfortable, to be able to relax. Um, and then you really jump into those things. You really dive into those things. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will catch you on the flip side. Let me see what your comment said. I want to see if anyone was, like, dragging me. Dragging me for not playing the poem right. Nope, everyone was supporting me because you guys are super awesome. Janie's in here, too. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, catch you next week on the Saved Over Success Network. The next episode is probably going to be... Oh, I can't wait for the next episode. It's going to be so much better. I'm going over my time. It's going to be so much, so much, so much, so much cooler. Like, this was a really already amazing. Your guys' comments were, 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 were awesome. Woo! See you guys.